is the time to fight. I am happy that the free and equal elections are doing what they're doing to actually bring more people, whatever political background you're in, into the political arena, to get more young people active, to get people to rise up, to demand solutions, to demand answers. If we had the investment in our national infrastructure, as I've been fighting for, we could have prevented this type of crisis. The question is, is it going to happen again? Who will be next? It will happen again unless we do something about it. And so I'm here today to appeal to you. I, I'm here not just for my own personal experience, but to speak on behalf of those who don't have a voice, to speak on behalf of the countless lives that have been lost, to speak on behalf of those that are still hurting, that have not found resolution, those who, who have, are still displaced, and to say we have to come together and demand solutions now. We have to come together and recognize that this nation, once again, has to adhere to the needs of the people not of the financial oligarchy, of Wall Street, or anybody else who says that it's all right to keep people down, under, enslaved, and not to actually address the fact that the answers have not been brought forward. On the day of August 30th, when I received that, that call, and my sisters and brothers, my siblings and I, went to the site, of where my parents were swept uh, from the uh, swept from the the bridge in the floodwaters, and I got the the word that they were gone. This this was a wake up call. It was a wake up call to me, and this has to be a wake up call to the nation that people cannot just close the door and say, it's been nine months, get over it, move on with life, because many people are not moving on with life right now until we address the reality of this crisis, until we say no more to the criminal negligence that we're going to, the billions of dollars that are needed to be put forth in our national infrastructure, to be put forth in actually giving people a renewed sense of life again, has to be, has to be put forth. So I thank Christina and others for, for giving me the stage today and to just allow me to speak briefly on how we can come together. I, do want to thank and appreciate, I mean, people have seen the videos of the countless acts of heroism, of people coming out, coming together like never before, saving their neighbors, saving their friends, saving their family members, the rescue teams. This is all beautiful and important and we can't say, oh, that happened, we came together, and it takes a natural disaster to bring the nation together. This has to be a wake-up call that the nation must continue to come together. We must continue to demand solutions. We must continue to unify around that which is going to improve the conditions of life for every single person in this city, in this state, in this country. And again, I say that if you have not taken a stand, if you're not thinking about what you can do to improve and to get involved and to better your, na your nation, 
then I, I demand and I, I really encourage that you do that. Because we're at a moment right now where we must move this nation toward the greater paradigm of joining the world in a new paradigm for peace, for development, and for bringing this nation toward the, the power of being great and being unified again around what is best for every single person in this country. So again, I want to thank you all for your participation, for getting involved. Make sure that you're registered to vote. Make sure that you're taking action. And I appreciate you and thank you very much.